So now that we've got the users, uh, I need to get the tools uh, going. So I need to get, I need to create the table, uh, and then uh, be able to add, modify, and delete uh, tools in the table. So I'm going to go ahead and open SQL Management Studio. connect and now that I'm connected I can see my database I can see the tables there's the postal code and the user profile that we were using last time uh, so now I want to um, Im I'm going to import from a, an Excel spreadsheet into this uh, database to create a new table because I already have the tools all laid out so all I have to do uh, is is just import them so import data uh, to get an idea of what the Excel spreadsheet looks like. My first row here is going to be the the field names uh, in the database um, and then Here's the, the data underneath. Notice Excel Spreadsheets has different uh, de tabs down here, so you can be on different sheets. This one is just called Sheet 1, so that'll be important here in just a minute. Uh, and after that, it's just all the information uh, that I need to put in. I do want to add one more thing. I want to know if this tool is available or not. So I'm going to have an availability field. And, and for now, I'm just going to mark them all yes. Okay, and I'll save this as spreadsheet. Okay, so I'm on this import wizard. Um, go next. I need to pick the data source, so this is going to be that Excel spreadsheet. And I just pick the sheet first row has column names for me that's true so I want to uh, make sure that's checked here we're looking at the destination so we're going into Apollo uh, we'll use SQL Server authentication The database should be your database for your group. Uh, take the default there. Sheet one, all right. So if there were multiple sheets down there, I could pick the one I wanted to import. I only have one sheet in my uh, Excel. Run immediately and finish. Close. Now if I come back here and refresh. I can see there's the table. I'm going to rename that to something more meaningful. Table rental tools. And I want to look at the design. Okay, so it's it's imported the um, um, the the header names description is kind of messed up I don't know if that's a reserve character or what but let's change that to tool description uh, and in fact let's change all of these to tool name uh, after you make a change before we make too many changes after you make one change uh, if I were then to try to save this uh, I might get an error about table recreation here it is um, tables to be dropped and recreated uh, so this error is pretty pretty easy to clean up you go to tools options designers table and database designers uncheck 
this, prevent saving changes that require table recreation. Okay. So now I can go in here and I can uh, easily make changes and, and be able to, when the, if the table needs to be recreated, uh, then it will, will do so. Okay, so I've just put tool in front of all of my, my fields here. Uh, I need to change these to something that makes sense. For this one is going to be integer. Uh, I do not want to allow nulls for that. I don't want to allow a name null. Nor do I want the daily rental to be null. We don't want that availability to be null. Everything else, if it's null, that's okay. Tool availability is either going to be Y or N, yes or no, so it only needs one character. Everything else looks good there. I'm going to set this to be my primary key. Before I do that, I need to go actually insert um, the tool IDs. So let's save up the table. Okay, now I'm going to edit the top 200 rows. And I just need to fill in this tool ID. Okay, the first seven. Now I can go back here and choose to not allow nulls. Set this as the primary key. I also want to set the identity specification. Is identity should be set to yes. Identity increment is one. Identity seed, there were seven I put in there, so let's start with eight. We'll save that. All right, that looks good. So now let me edit the top 200 rows again. So if we start down here, it's adding the entry in, so it looks good. So the database is working like I would like it to work. Um, one other uh, thing that I might want to collect here uh, is a tool type. So let's go back into design uh, and I want to add tool type. to allow nulls until I go back and fill it in. Uh, when I get into the database, tool type, here we go. So this is going to be uh, the different types of tools. So electric, gas, gas, uh, and we'll make test a hand tool. Alright, so I'm going to create a different, uh, we're going to use drop down boxes here again. So I'm going to go ahead and create another table uh, just for those tool types.
and so my possible tool types are gas, electric, hand, All right, so I've got my tables made. It's time now to switch over to uh, Visual Web Developer and start implementing uh, these. So now that the um, the database is all set up, uh, I need to just connect into it. I just want to be able to view the material in the database um, and and see. Uh, make sure I've got good connectivity here. So I've created a new uh, new web form called View All Tools. Uh, in View All Tools, I've added a SQL data source and I've added a Grid View. So I'm just going to configure the data source quickly now. I'm going to be pulling from Tools, and I just want to grab all of this uh, information. And I just want to link up the grid view to the data source. Okay, that looks good. I'll save this. Uh, I need to add view all tools to the sitemap. View all tools should be a, a function of sales. Okay, so that's saved up. So let's view this in our browser. Okay, and there we go. So I'm able to view everything out of the database. Uh, so now I need to uh, be able to add a new tool. I need to be able to select one of these tools uh, and edit it or delete it uh, to, to make that side uh, of our project uh, functional. So that's what we'll be working on next.